A lot of people uh, in my industry love to give you case studies and they tell you a short story like a commercial like um, they had a client and the client had XYZ problem and they put together this great marketing campaign and fixed the problem. I'm going to do the anti-case study case study. Okay, I got fired from a company that is in Los Angeles and they are a private equity group and what they do is they take assets other people own, usually trust owned uh, life insurance policies and they buy them like a hedge fund and the specialty is distressed assets backed by banks and a lot of big financial institutions buy these like Goldman Sachs, Credit Suisse, uh, Bank of Boston, they'll have portfolios of these types of um, of these types of assets like big bond portfolios or derivatives. Anyhow, this company hired me and they wanted me to write articles and um, I, I took on the job and the idea, the understanding at least was I could get in, uh, demonstrate my capabilities with some, some strong articles and some web content. I wrote, I rewrote a couple of their web pages so that they could target not consumers, but other financial professionals who are working with consumers who have these types of assets and they could generate uh, referrals. Okay. Um, so business to business financial services, you could call it. The company was obsessed, the, the man running marketing was obsessed with SEO. All he ever talked about was SEO, search engine optimization. And apparently they were paying a consulting agency for search engine optimization services. So I took the liberty one time, sometimes I have a big mouth, and I took the liberty of saying to my customer, you know, you got a guy in San Diego who's 23 years old doing affiliate marketing and he's doing all these SEO programs with the social media. Here's the thing, you're selling something that's complex with a big dollar amount and there's a lot of hands in the cookie jar. There's lawyers and trust officers and family members and trustees, etc. And it's a little complicated and I think you'd be better off with a direct mail program um, to pair up with the seminars that you're already doing. So we parted ways, needless to say. Um, the point of the story, the case study for you to take away is a lot of businesses lose money. Last time I checked that client's website, they're doing, they're taking all, some, I think I wrote seven articles for them. They just regurgitate the same content and twist up the articles and spin them and then repost them. The point is a lot of companies are convinced that they need search engine optimization and on the internet, their client, no matter who that client is, that target audience is going to miraculously find them and buy from them. And I'm here to tell you for certain things, Maybe social media works, maybe tweeting and LinkedIn work, but for a lot of businesses, your target customer is not sitting on the internet and looking for services like yours. And the private equity group in Los Angeles was a prime example. Um, people with big bond portfolios or trust officers or bank managers are not sitting on social media or on search engines for that matter trying to find private equity companies to buy distressed bond portfolios.